Whether it's your first time cooking a Thanksgiving dinner or you're a seasoned pro, there's always an element of stress to making sure all that food gets on the table in time. A local chef says it doesn't have to be that way. KXY Force Caroline Rourke shares his time saving tips to put the happy back in your holiday this week. It's a day to celebrate with friends and family around your table, but getting Thanksgiving dinner on that table is no easy task. Let's see. Curtis Smith knows he and the team at Spokane Community College's Culinary Arts Program served Thanksgiving lunch to more than 225 people today. You might not have that many guests this week, and you probably don't have a kitchen like this at your disposal. But some of the tips Curtis uses can help save you time and stress. I was talking to somebody recently who was kind of worried about their first Thanksgiving. Somebody was expecting them to, uh, to, to cook everything. So Curtis's first tip? Get help. If you can, ask your friends and family to pitch in so you can focus on making a few dishes great. Uh, I think the other thing that people don't understand is they try to cook everything on one day or on the day of. They get up at the crack of dawn and start cooking and unfortunately they're probably pretty exhausted by the time it's time to eat. So get ahead. Make what you can today and tomorrow. Three days in advance, make the cranberry sauce and put it in the fridge and be done with that. Mashed potatoes, you can peel them, cut them, and then leave them in water to wait. We just baked all of our pies. Our wonderful apple pies ready to go. Dessert is the last thing you'll enjoy on Thanksgiving, but it can be one of the first things you make. It'll save you time and space. People usually only have one oven, so they're going, where am I going to put all this other stuff? Leave Thursday for the main course. The turkey needs to be done the day of. The magic number for cooking turkey isn't so much a time, it's a temperature. Professionally, and I even tell my mom this, you got to have a thermometer. But get the turkey done early, and you can let it sit for just a little while to free up that oven for final touches. you got to utilize that time once the turkey comes out to get those sides into the oven. Caroline Rourke, KXOY4 News.